Good evening and welcome to News 9. I'm Nolan Pinto. We have some big news coming in now. A lift crashes in Bescom office near Hudson Circle. It's the big news that we're now tracking. A lift crashes in Bescom office near Hudson Circle. The lift crashes from the second floor to the ground floor. One woman injured in the accident. The injured has been identified as Yashoda. Yashoda is the wife of a Bescom employee. In fact, this lady is a wife of a Bescom employee. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by my colleague Akshita. Akshita, can you tell us what has happened over here? Well, what we understand, uh, Nolan, is that this particular incident took place uh, in the afternoon and unfortunately one person has uh, been uh, injured. Now, as you rightly mentioned, this lift has uh, crashed from the second floor to the ground floor. This was uh, at the Bescom office uh, near uh, uh, Hudson Circle. And what we understand is that one woman has been injured. In fact, it, due to the fall, uh, she has suffered a fracture to her right ankle. And it is said that her husband uh, is uh, a Bescom staff. She herself has been identified as Yashoda. Uh, she is currently being Treated, but nothing serious is what we understand. It is a right ankle fracture, and that has been diagnosed by the doctors, Nolan. But we're looking at yet another lift accident take place here, and uh, ironically enough, this time around in the Bescom office, Nolan. Now, Akshita, isn't it a rule that uh, all these lifts, so elevators, need to be checked every year, but we don't see that happening in the city? Absolutely, Nolan. In fact, uh, there is a particular act, the Karnataka Lift Act uh, of 1974, uh, which clearly uh, uh, deals with the government going ahead and sanctioning new lifts, ensuring that the necessary safety measures are taken up and uh, that uh, it is properly licensed. Now, a license for a lift is not provided unless that is done. With regard to the servicing, uh, Nolan, it is expected of the private company, of uh, the allowed companies to go ahead and uh, undertake uh, the servicing. But as you rightly mentioned, there is uh, a time period which is mentioned, especially time period between which that lift has to be serviced otherwise we do see cases like this tragedies like this take place but that is being grossly ignored is what we're looking at Nolan uh, lack of awareness uh, to a great extent uh, uh, negligence of the same is what's leading to all these right. incidents more than anything else Nolan right Akshita thank you very much uh, for all those details Well, let's now take a look at all the election stories. Now, DK Shivkumar has lashed out at JDS heavyweight HD Kumar Swami speaking at a public gathering in Malavalli in Mandya. The energy minister stated that HD Kumar Swami is not a capable politician as he never put his position as MLA and CM to use. He added that it was the people of Ramnagara that had voted him to power and that when he did ascend to the post of MLA and the chief minister, he never looked back at the constituency. He added that now, very conveniently, HDK has chosen to contest from Chikbalapura instead of Ramnagara. DK Shivkumar added that the public must not waste their vote on the two-faced leader. Well, now uh, let's uh, listen to what uh, H HD uh, Kumar Swami had to say. In fact, uh, we now have with us uh, former Chief Minister H.T. Kumar Swami. Mr. Kumar Swami, you heard what uh, D.K. Shivkumar has said against you, that you are uh, leaving your constituency and you're not capable. Hello. In fact, uh, we'll try and get back uh, to H.T. Kumar Swami in some time. But uh, this is what has uh, happened. Uh, D.K. Shivkumar uh, has lashed out at JDS heavyweight H.T. Kumar Swami. Speaking at a public gathering in Malavali in Mandya, the energy minister stated that H.T. Kumar Swami is not a capable politician as he never put his position as MLA and CM to use. He added that it was the people of Ramnagara that had voted him to power and that when he did ascend to the post of MLA and the CM, he never looked back at the constituency. He added that now very conveniently, H.T.K. has chosen to contest from Chikpalapura 
instead of Ramnagara. DK Shivkumar added that the public must not waste their vote on the two-faced leader. In fact, we'll try and uh, speak to HD Kumar Swami. We did, uh, we did try to connect him now, but the line disconnected. We'll try once more to speak to him and uh, figure out what he has to say on what uh, DK Shiv Kumar has now uh, alleged that uh, he's not a capable politician, he's two-faced, and that he has never put his position as an MLA and CM to use for the people of Ramnagara who actually voted him to power. In fact, uh, we now have with us uh, former Chief Minister H.T. Kumar Swami on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Kumar Swami, D.K. Shiv Kumar has stated that you are not a capable politician and that you have actually not used, utilized your position as an MLA to help them. Basically, I am not a politician. That is right. But when I conduct my duty mm -hmm. as a representative of the people, I have full satisfaction the way in which I work in Ramnagaram constituency, not only in Ramnagaram constituency, mm -hmm. as a chief minister, mm -hmm. the way in which I conducted the administration for 20 months, mm -hmm. I think people, people, people have given the certificate to me. I don't want certificate from uh, the illegal activities, uh, kingpin, D.K. Shukumar, uh, like uh, D.K. Shokumar. I don't want this certificate. I, re I want only the certificate of the people of Karnataka. It is not necessary for me to get a certificate from D.K. Shokumar. All right. Now, Mr. Kumar Swami, he has also said that people should not waste their vote on... And he's calling you a two-faced leader. Our pardon? He said that the people in uh, in Chikpalapura should yeah. not waste their vote on you, and he has called you a two-faced leader. <laughs> what do you have to say about that, sir? The, the, the Chikpalapura voters, mm -hmm. they are better. They are better judges to who vote in this election. The which person is suitable for Chikpalapur, mm -hmm. people will going to decide. All right. What? They, all right. Why do you, yes, Mr. Kumar Swami, why do you think he has no. actually? Hello. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Go ahead. No, actually, what happened mm -hmm. after I putting Prabhakar Reddy, I decided to put candidature of Prabhakar Reddy in the uh, Bangalore rural constituency. Okay. Just totally lost his uh, control there. He has okay. lost his confidence also, I think, the way in which he is speaking from last two days. He desperately using unnecessary words. Okay. You can judge the, the way in which he is uh, using his words. Mm -hmm. I think he loses his temperament. Okay. Now, Mr. Uh, no, uh, huh. Tell me. What do you have to say to the people of Ramnagra? Because now he has gone and said all this. What do you want to tell them? The way in which I worked in Ramnagaram, about the development of Ramnagaram, mm -hmm. you please ask the people. Mm -hmm. Shukma does, Shukma, what he knows is, Shukma from the last 20 years, he is only misusing his power mm -hmm. to gain wealth from doing all illegal activities. Okay. That kind of person, mm -hmm. now he is... Uh, charging me, criticizing me about my function. If at uh, 1995, the Ramnagara, mm -hmm. what what was the Ramnagara in 1995, mm -hmm. now what is Ramnagara in 2014, people know it. The, the development work which I have done, mm -hmm. I think Congress never done a single work in 30 years, the way in which I have done the work in 20 years. All right. All right, Mr. Kumar Swami, thank you very much uh, for speaking to News 9.